Today, the battle over same-sex marriage reached the U.S. Supreme Court. The nine justices heard two hours of oral arguments for and against legalizing same-sex marriage. The high court is looking at cases from four states where a federal court upheld the marriage bans. And right now, it appears the four conservative justices are against same-sex marriage, and the four liberal justices are for it. Justice Kennedy could be the swing vote. KPI X5's Joe Vasquez joins us now from San Francisco, where a big rally is underway in support of legalizing same-sex marriage. Joe? Yeah, we've got a couple of hundred people here rallying in support of same-sex marriage. It's just a couple of hours after the argument was made before the U.S. Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. They are gathered here on the steps of San Francisco City Hall, where it all began. Many of the ralliers have watched every court case very closely ever since the firm first same-sex marriage took place here 11 years ago. Some here say they thought today's question and answer session, well, it sounded a bit out of touch. For example, when Justice Kennedy wondered aloud why the court should even change the definition of marriage when it's been between a man and a woman for so many millennia, as he put it. Among the demonstrators here, former Assemblyman Tom Amiano, who once marched the streets with Harvey Milk. I don't appreciate, you know, being trivialized that you know, this is an issue that you can parse, you can say, well, hmm, you know, be there. That it's always been this way, well, that shows how narrow their view of history is, because who wrote that history? Maybe people who are not necessarily willing to acknowledge gay people. It is, of course, impossible to know which way the justices were leaning just by virtue of their questions. Past Supreme Court cases have taught us that lesson. We will have to wait for the answer until June, when the Supreme Court is expected to make its decision. Reporting live, I'm Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.